Ailey and I want to say thanks so much to our patrons. We really appreciate your support in helping make Elder Dragon hijinks a thing that will continue for as long as we can play Casual Ridiculous Commander. Thanks again, patrons. <laughs> Don't eat the packaging. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> this week's episode of Elder Dragon Hijinks is sponsored by Monk Pack. Monk Pack's bars are delicious, and whether you prefer nut and seed or granola bars, Monk Pack has you covered. They're low sugar, keto friendly, plant based, gluten free, and non GMO. Monk Pack's bars contain one gram of sugar or less, two to three grams of net carbs, and each bar contains 150 calories or less. So when I need a snack in a hurry, I don't feel guilty grabbing one of these. And let me tell you, sea salt caramel, oh, so good. They are so good, in fact, that I am definitely going to be ordering more. Speaking of ordering more, you can get 20% off your first order of any Monk Pack product by visiting monkpack.com and using the code aliasv at checkout. Or you can just click the link in the description below. Monk Pack is also super confident about their product, as they should be, but it's backed with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they'll exchange the product or refund your money, whichever you prefer. So go to the thing and happy snacking. <laughs> Elder Dragon Hijinks is proudly sponsored by Cool Stuff Inc. Check them out and use code alias V to get 5% off your order. For our Canadian viewers, check out face to face games for your singles and sealed product and be sure to use code alias V at checkout for 5% off. We're also sponsored by our friends at Moxfield.com, the best deck building site on the internet for your Magic the Gathering collection. The show is also made possible by EDH Rec and their sister site, Commander's Herald. EDH Rec is one of the best resources you can have as a Commander player. Commander's Herald is their article-focused site for Commander, where you can find more content, more insight, and some fun articles along the way. Another awesome sponsor is UltraPro. For all your accessory needs, visit ultrapro.com forward slash alias V. Don't forget code alias V at checkout for 5% off. Last but not least, thanks to our sponsor, Alter Sleeves. You can find them at altersleeves.com. Get amazing art upgrades for your cards and for your decks to personalize them as you like. Hello, nerds. Hello, and welcome to your weekly dose of hijinks. I'm Ailey. And I'm Olivia. We have YouTube royalty. People with like six figures in their subs. It's pretty amazing. We've got Vince, who is also known as Pleasant Kenobi, and our, uh, you know, friend. Your favorite. CGB. Yeah, Cobra Go Blue is joining us today, too. <laughs> now, I checked with both of them because, you know, like YouTube superstars as we know they are sometimes they have beef right so i had to do a beef check with both the guys i'm like yo you got a problem with this guy yeah you got a problem with this guy but yeah, no beef no beef okay, good. between our two youtube friends fair warning any and all animosity directed towards each other is none of our faults we're just not claiming any responsibility for that at all no 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 well let's meet the players and check out their decks Hi, I'm Vince, also as Pleasant Kenobi on the internet. I'm a Magic the Gathering content creator over on my own YouTube channel, which is Pleasant Kenobi. And I also make Warhammer content over on PK's War Room, which is newly launched. And that's relevant because today I'm playing Balakor the Dark Master, which my camera won't focus on. But he is a big demon daddy. He's the big demon noble. He's the first demon prince. And I'm playing Oops All Demons. I say this, it's only like 22 demons, but the whole point is to put big fatties into play, or reanimate big fatties, or sneak attack big fatties, and all the f those fatties happen to be demons too. Today I am playing Liliana, heretical healer, this side of it. Friends, it's different. There's more lands in it now. It can cast spells. It's not as hard on the Lily theme to the point of being detrimental to me. I can do stuff now and none of it is nice. Today, I'm looking for the bare necessities, and in this deck, it's vanilla creatures because I'm playing Ruxa, patient professor. And what this lovely bear friend says is that things with no abilities get plus one plus one, which is kind of nifty. But the coolest part about dear Ruxa is that I can attack and deal damage with those creatures as if they were not blocked. Guaranteed combat damage, my favorite. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the only show that can get me to turn on my overhead webcam. And they have invited me, the one in best of one, the CGB, back for another episode 
And I took that personally because it means last time they didn't learn their lesson from the giant flying hamster that was flung at their faces to gouge out their eyes. So today on this Black Friday, I have a little deal, a little holiday deal for both of them. Gix and I offer you this. You will get a little bit of painful card draw. I will get to exile cards from your library and cast your entire deck for free. <laughs> so without further ado, let the hijinks begin. 15. Will you roll for me, Ailey? Yes, this is for Olivia. Don't roll higher. Don't roll higher. It is a nine. Yeah, that checks. I roll a seven. I got a six. Oh, I my start. No! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's rock and roll. I will draw. Oh, it zooms. Sorry. It does. Isn't it fun? You haven't been here since we, we changed gotta, things. Act like I've been here before, man. What the mm -hmm. hell? You can be impressed. I am too. Don't worry. Turn on celery. No. <laughs> I say go. Uh, it's fixed. Guys, you guys have no idea how good this opener is. It's not. Temple Garden tapped. Pass. Oh, I'm glad you're being sarcastic. <laughs> Flexing. Last time I was here, you played $1,000 on turn one. <laughs> I'm going to play a Polluted Delta and pass the turn. It's foil and it's Korean. How fancy is that? Pass turn. Everybody's flexing. Go. I'll play a tapped Tomb Fortress, the new uh, warhammer -y land that I can like mill stuff and bring stuff back someday. Go. <laughs> Untap. Drop. Ooh. 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 Oh, I've never gotten this card to work. Do I do that or do I do this? I love that Ailey has big, I'm the enemy. Yes. Energy on oh, turn yes. two. With a green vanilla deck. Do you guys ever remember that impossible quiz? And there was this thing called a bun dance and it was literally a bun dancing. It was like no. an Excel thing, but anyway. I think I'm playing abundance. Yeah, yeah. Yes, so I had to read this a few times. So if I would draw a card, I can choose non-land or land instead reveal cards and then put them into my hand if I chose right, otherwise it goes to the bottom. If I do it wrong, Olivia will shout at me, I'm sure. Yes, That's I'll my help. Turn. Thank you. It, it's how I keep myself alive with the Traxa. Until I don't <laughs> want to be alive anymore. Oh, right, yes. Yeah, yeah, Let's see. I will play this here isolated chapel, which will enter untapped because I control a plane. And then I'll pass. Cool. I'm going to draw. I've cracked my fetch in your own steps. I'm on 39 life. Then I'm going to play. I've got I've got a real Volk. And then I'm going to play my proxy Badlands because I'm an Yeah. <laughs> um, I saw that on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I don't see what the problem is. It says, it, it says exactly what the card does. It taps for either black or red mana. And it's exactly. a land. Yeah. Exactly. No, it's Looks great. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. And I'll play a Fresh Art, Spickler, which is a famous card that gives me mana equal to one and of the color. That was a really bad way of explaining it. Everyone knows what this does. So I'll pass turn. <laughs> Untap, draw. I, I got some villain energy for you. Let's go. Let's uh, play a swamp. Let's play a mana vault. Let's Ooh. tap it for three. We're going to play a lightning greaves. And we're going to think you are me? He thinks he's me. It's just a minute. You, 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 ain't, you, you haven't done it like this. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I'm going to use the one floating and I'm gonna play Jadar, Ghoul Caller oh. Mythalia. Oh, Legendary good. one one. Oh. Makes undead zombies with decayed at the beginning of the end step if I control uh -huh. no creatures with decayed. We're gonna wear boots. And we're going to attack my favorite person in the world. And welcome to the first time on the show, Pleasant Kenobi. <laughs> yeah. I will declare no blocks and go to 38. Thank you, Covert Go Blue. Appreciate that. End step. Gain a zombie. Go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. All right. Untap. I want to choose non land and then I reveal cards until I reveal card of the chosen kind. Non land. Yes. That's a land. So you keep keep revealing until you that's choose. A no, that's you a non land. That's there a you go. I get this. This goes to the bottom. Yeah, Correct. so what we just saw was the paper version of Seek on Arena, right? This is like <laughs> the closest they can get to it, is where you choose a thing yeah. and then you reveal from top. People claim that Seek could be easily written on physical cards. I'm like, no, it takes four lines of text to write it. It's not looking <laughs> about this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Footed Wood Heels. Yes, I'll crack that now. And let's play this bear friend. 
That says, whenever Ruxa, patient professor, enters the battlefield or attacks, critter with no abilities from my graveyard returns to my hand. She is a plus one, plus one, so she's a lord for all of my vanilla guys. And then you may have creatures you control with no abilities assigned. Combat damage as if they weren't blocked. <laughs> my favorite step. It would be kind of fun to cosplay this one just because you get to wear a giant bear head, a really cool yeah. robe, and nobody knows who you are. I mean, that kind of happened with you and the cat. That cat was terrifying. Everybody knew about that cursed mask. Nobody had any yeah, questions. I've was never seen you dressed as a cat. I got a mask for a Ginny Fay cosplay that's just like a cat nose and mouth from here down. It was not okay. It's a nightmare <laughs> like, feel. It's like Nissa, Nissa cosplay has done like both a Johnny and Nico Bolas in like complete full on. You just do not know. She does the full makeup and incredible. looks incredible. And then I just, I phoned it in because I had to wear a mask anyways. I was like, I'll just get a cat face. It is terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Are you done, Ailey, by the way? Yeah, Sorry. I'm just paying a life, okay. gonna fetch a forest, and then gotcha. shuffle. I will play a glacial fortress, which will enter untapped, because I have a plane. Look at me go. I'm gonna <laughs> tap three? I know, right? I'm gonna tap three for ghostly prison and pact. Oh, come on. That's not even a shrine. No, no. it's not, but it's an enchantment, and I'm only allowed to play enchantments. It's an honorary <laughs> shrine. <laughs> I like that you're I'm protecting gonna... your shrine, so it's nice and chill. I have drawn for turn. I'm going to play my Seeker of Slanesh. This is a four mana three three demon with haste, and it has the allure of Slanesh, which is the demon god of um, um, sexy time. Each opponent oh. must attack with at least one creature. <laughs> each combat is able. They are also the god of like um, music and decadence as well. But everyone always thinks okay. Word. Sense. So it all it all yeah that all makes sense. Music yeah. and but decadence it, also required music, for sexy time. Music, decadence, mm. and sexy time is all very alluring. Yes. I want. I, does your decayed zombie is it able to block? Oh, it's no, it's not decayed, able to block. block. Okay. What I'll do, though, is because it says each opponent must attack, I don't have to, so I'm not going to bother. I'm going to pass the turn. And decayed Flexing. zombies, don't they disappear after they attack? Or no? They do. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Oh, but he's on every end step? Yeah. Yes, every end step, it makes a new there one. Is. Okay. Yeah. Cool, cool, yeah. cool, cool, cool. Got it. I'll show you. Hold on. I'll show you how it works. <laughs> <laughs> I will take one point for, <laughs> from my mana vault. Lesson time with Professor Blue. Go blue. What is go like the middle name or is go blue the surname? Like, how do you split this? It's a screen name. Asked. It's all one. It's all one name. It's just oh, it's all one. Name. Okay. CGB sounds like an infection. It, it it's it CGB <laughs> is a way I put it so people wouldn't have to learn how to say it. But why are we now? We're talking how to say it anyway. But CGB <laughs> sounds like I need some antibiotics to get over it. You know. <laughs> Well, you know, that was the real uh, intention of the business until I tried this streaming thing, okay? All right, time for the fun to really begin. I'm going to play Nykthos. I don't have much devotion yet. <laughs> and here comes Gix. <laughs> so, when every creature deals combat damage to one of my opponents, its controller may pay one life. If they do, they draw a card. So that works for <laughs> you guys too. Yeah. Uh, as long as you don't hit me. Uh -huh. And we're going to put the boots on the Gix. And that's a three point attack. And I promise to show Olivia how this works. So here they come. You, you cannot, because she has you a can't, ghosty person. You have to pay for it. I promise to show Olivia how this works, so I will not. And uh, Ailey, <laughs> <laughs> what do you have? How big is that thing? I've got a 4-4. Four four. You want to meet my bear? Oh my gosh. What am I supposed to do? Attack. You have uh, to. I, I guess you get really cocky and then realize you're not. <laughs> That's um, a good strategy. I do have to attack with one creature. One I don't have a choice. Attack. Yep. Uh, so, a decayed zombie will attack Vince for making me look bad on camera. It's only it because is. you can't attack yourself, right? Because I'm pretty I was, sure I was going to say, I don't think I made you look bad there, buddy. I will block it with my Seeker of Slanesh. Oh, no, he yeah. dies. Ooh. Your seeker, it's not a goad thing, hey? It just, you have to attack. Yeah. It just says, like, it has to, yeah. Okay. Was that the first time I... Th Alias, am I right in thinking you're Canadian? I am now, yes. Because that was the first time I've ever heard you speak, and I thought, wow, that sounded Canadian. Because you said A, but I've never, I've never heard you say that before. Uh, I've adapted. It is passed on to me, because I'll now say hey at the end of sentences that are, like, questions. <laughs> oh, yeah. and it's this, eh? I'm just trying to start adapting the language so I can X-Tat out. You know? 
<laughs> we will accept you with open arms. You blocked my ugly, stinky zombie, right? That is correct, yes. My okay. I had a little dance. I'm going to go to my end step and make a new one and say, I'm done. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh. 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 Mm. Oh, goody. She's having too much fun. This is what happens when other people build decks for her. This is great. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, uh, do I? Is this how I have to? You may. Okay, so you may. Oh, yeah, I yeah. didn't do that. It's, I just drew. That's so the that's nice cool. part about it. You can you can just draw if you want. All right. All right. Windswept Heath. Fetch land nonsense. I can go get a plains or a forest. Let's do this. I'm going to do another setup turn. So I'm going to crack this now because I need the mana. Take a ding. I'm going to go find another surprise, surprise forest. Now all forests in your mono green deck. How uncanny. If you had a gingerbread cabin, you could have a free food token. I could. Look Look! Look at how good the fixing has been, though. Like, Alias has perfect mana right now. Me too. Just, oh, so good. I'm going to pay two for a card that I've never gotten to work, and here's hoping I can. In search of greatness at the beginning of my upkeep, I can cast a permanent spell from your hand with CMC equal to plus one of the highest mana cost among other permanents you control without paying its mana cost. Highest currently is four. So if I have a five in hand, I can pay it without paying its mana cost. If I don't, I scry one, which is nifty with abundance. These two are friends now. Nice. Oh, that's cool. Then a four mana. And I'm going to blow up some gardens with explosive vegetation. Search my library for up to two basic lands. Put them onto the battlefield tap, then shuffle. My god, she's got so much mana. I know. So much mana. Yeah. Before I go and find my lands, I am going to send Ruxa on to Olivia because she's got the stupid ghostly pressure up. <laughs> Hicks is a 3-3? Three, three? Yep, but if you hit me, you don't draw a card. But I like hitting you because you're a problem always, even if you're not. What? I mean, he was very, he was very, very cocky last turn. Was quite so cocky, yes. Was... Yeah. Yeah. CGB catch. Bonk. I'll take it. That's for commander damage. Uh, I'm going to go find my two Get forests him. and say go. Okay. I will play a Sulphur Fall hat. Oh, the perfect mana. It couldn't last forever. Mm. It couldn't. No, it's true. I will play a Destiny Spinner. Creatures and enchantments of mine can't be countered, and I can pay for it to turn a land into an elemental. X is the number of enchantments I control. Uh, yeah, that's it. I'll pack. I'm going to untap and draw a card for turn. Oh, demons. Ooh. I love demons. <laughs> I'm going to cast the Great Unclean one. Who? what now? What? This is a 4-5-5 five, five mana. Uh, demon. It's actually a greater demon, but it's a demon. At the beginning of my end step, each opponent loses two life. And then for each opponent who has l less life than me, I create a 1 3 black demon creature called a Plague Bearer of Nurgle. This is one of my favorite like models in all of Warhammer, so uh, the, car the, cards are the cards are okay. Yeah, how is the flavor? How is the flavor for you? Phenomenal. Like it's the. Okay. I, I was almost burnt out by how excited and overhyped I was for the set. So like, this is weird. I haven't complained about any of this. Um, <laughs> I, so I don't have to attack, but I draw a card if I do. So I'm open. Can I go, can I, well, you don't. You don't draw a card for hitting me. That is true. Alias. Yeah, I'm open. Uh, I've only got four cards in hand, and two of them are lands. Do you mind if I boop you for a, a draw not. card? Is that well, good? come on in. So I hit yeah. you for three. And I'll trigger Gix, so I lose a life and draw a card. Is that correct, GGB? Yes. Yeah, let's go. It's another land. Wait. You're right. welcome. And then, then we'll go to my end step. I'm going to trigger my great unclean one. So everybody loses two except me. And then okay. anyone with lower life than me gives me a plague bearer. So that's going to be, I believe, alias and CGB. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah, I'm at yep. 38. Perfect. 33. And I've even got the token. Look, foil tokens from the collector box. Ready to go. Look at that. That foiling really is Beautiful. sweet. Well, the funny thing is they only fall on one side for some reason, even though they're all double-sided. <laughs> so they're all really curved, which is lovely. If they fall on both sides, they're probably like even out. Yeah. Uh, Wizards of the Coast. Anyway, there he is. Anyway. He's back. The complaints <laughs> are here. Well, the flavor's on point, but the product was uh, had some faults. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. the end of my end. Just set. <laughs> Untap. Take one from Mana Vault. Draw. I'm going to cast Ginger Brute. Wee! Aww. So cute! He is. Potentially deadly. Yes. yes. <laughs> I am <laughs> going to pay to make it so that the ginger brute can only be blocked by creatures with haste. Because mm -hmm. this mockery 
from Kenobi will not stand, so the ginger brute has to go there. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm sorry, but I didn't realize I was getting to you. I'll stop. No, I won't. I'm letting you. And, <laughs> and then I am sending the rest to Ailey, not because I want her dead, but because I want cards. Okay. In response, I'm going to play another card I've never played. Force of Vigor. If it's not my turn, which it's not, I'm going to exile green card from my hand. So Harvest Season's going exiled, and I'm going to destroy your boots. Because I can't hit okay. Gix, right? He's not metal or anything. And then Olivia, I'm oh. getting rid of your prison because I hate that card. <laughs> oh. I was oh, if combat, you had done that I... before combat, I wouldn't have punched you. Sucks to suck. <laughs> <laughs> but I was going to say that prison is doing gross amounts of work. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> Also, for the record, the two green players who are both playing enchantments, it's up to you to destroy each other's enchantments, because me, me and CGB, we, we ain't doing it in our colors. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm going to be casting spells from their deck, so it's going to be fine. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, uh, anyway. It's an unwise strategy on webcam, but we'll see how it goes for you. Yeah. I hope you have infinite tokens ready. <laughs> so, uh, one point to Kenobi, and, and six points to Ailey, six? and oh, crap, I you draw... Oh, crap, you zombie too. Sure. Right. Yeah, I take six. I, I pay four life. I draw four cards. Oh, icky. It's okay, I'm dying. How many cards do you have in hand now, Mr. Blue? I have a modest eight cards in hand. That's too many. Oh, you're right. That is that is too <laughs> many. I will play one of them. A Mishra's Factory. Oh, made a land drop. Well done. Yep, yep. Mm-hmm. Turns into a little two-two. Can you equip the 2-2 to do ballet? I can evoke a Shriek Maw to kill your red make everyone attack thingy. Okay, seems a little bit overzealous, but sure. It is done. <laughs> My zombie token dies, but then I move down step, make a new one. That's it. I'm done. Great. Um, tap. Okay. Upkeep. At the beginning of your upkeep, I can cast a permanent from my hand. I don't have a permanent that is five mana right now, so eh. In Search of Greatness gets a little finicky. Like, sometimes you really, you gotta have the low CMC stuff out there for it to really sing. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. If I get one trigger off it, I'll be happy. But hey, I like a scry. So let's scry first. And that can go bottom. I feel like if the card was good, it would just be called Greatness. I know, right? I will choose Nonland. Reveal. Dunk. Hey. <laughs> Oracle of Moldiah revealed. Hello, pretty. Which is oh, also is... synergistic with abundance. This is so fun. Oh, I'm so glad there are superior deck builders in the world. Crucible of Worlds will be my land drop for the turn, evidently. And uh, Oracle of Moldaya. Crucible of Worlds, I can play land cards from my graveyard. And then Oracle of Moldaya, I can play an additional land on each of my turns. So, oh, oh, okay. This is fun. You can keep yeah. sending zombies at her, CGB. Yep. And you also get to look at the top card or show us the top card. Yeah. What have you got? My play show card off the top. Whoop. Oh, it's a land. Good. What is this? Argoth. Show me what you got. Argoth oh, Sanctum of Nature. Land. Enters the battlefield tapped unless you control a legendary green creature. Would you look at that? I can make bears. Oh, <gasps> I'm going to make bears. Not right now, but I will. So this will be my one land. I reveal the top. That is... What is that? Autumn's Veil. Spells you control can't be counted by blue or black spells. Okay, so that's an instant. Do I want this? I think I'm going to shuffle that away. So I'm going to play the Windswept Teeth from the graveyard, lose a life, go fetch a forest. Am I expected to believe it's coincidence that you both brought cards that say your spells can't be countered against me? I've no, never seen this deck before in my life. Deck, cause I don't I don't have any instants or sorceries. It's all enchantments, so that's the only defense <laughs> I've gotten. I swerved. I played mono black. We've seen you make a count or a control gruel deck, CGB, so I <laughs> you can make control decks out of anything. This is just how you are. <laughs> Real top, it is a rampaging Bayloth. Oh goody. Oh, you'll all love that. That's got a landfall trigger. I don't have to attack anymore, which is nice. Nope. You're Idiots can block, right? Yeah, I've got two one threes that can block and a four five that can block. Four five, ugh, icky. I think I'm gonna hit CGB again, but then he's gonna hit me for more. Yeah. Uh, you well, get to draw a card if you hit Olivia. I get to draw that Olivia card if I hit Olivia. Olivia is life as well, actually. Olivia, I love you. Take four. No, you don't. Don't lie to me. I do love you. That's why I send my bear at you for hugs. Bear hugs. No, that's not how this works. But I okay. can't. I, I I'm not gonna block. Four commanded damage there, if it matters. And I will draw Rampaging Bailouts and reveal, boop, 
primeval bounty. Oh, 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 good. Well, this is fantastic. You do pay one. You pay one life for the draw. Yes. Oh, I do. Yes. Thank you. I'll use my life. It is a resource, and I will say go. Mono green is fun. <laughs> Green is the best color in Commander. It's the one downside of playing Boops or Demons. It's like you can't play green. <laughs> Root Bound Crag gives me all the colors. I'll tap four and play Goshintai. I'll pass. Okay, I'm going to untap and draw a card for turn. Hmm, okay, so I'm going to play a land for turn, which will be this island. I'm going to go to combat. <laughs> so I am going to attack Olivia with a 4 5. I will accept the damage. I will attack Alias with both of the Plague Bearers. Olivia, did you make a shrine? You get one when it enters, right? Yes. I'm a fool. I'm still not blocking. Okay, cool. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I'll block one of the one threes with my tutu, and I will take one damage. So you take one, Olivia takes four, and I draw two cards and lose two life. Not too shabby. Indeed. Oh, I drew a soul ring. Look at this. (laughs) Wee! Perfectly on time. Oh, that's such a good soul ring. I know, it's beautiful. Look at it. Mm. If only it wasn't oh, bending into the so shape, cool. of a, shape of a banana. Right. Um, <laughs> the Eye of Sauron. <laughs> uh, so we're now going to cast the Demon of Dark Schemes. Flying, and when it enters the battlefield, each other creature gets minus two, minus two until end of turn. I should tap on oh. the mana correctly, actually. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. And three Hi, black, Oracle. one, two, three, yeah. So my it kills friend. all things that are two twos or lower, which includes... Oh, no, hang on. My plague bearers are one threes. I, I, my math was... One of them will die, because they've taken oh, two damage. Yes, thank you. And I wanted to, because when they die, I get energy. So I've I've I'm lost one creature. Um, the shrine <laughs> will die, Olivia, so I'll get two energy. Oh, yes. How many things are yours are dying, Covert? Mm. Uh, to fairy's protection. Oh. Okay, well, that's <laughs> in, in, in mono black. That's he's like, three, he's right? fibbing. He's fibbing, yeah. Cool. And then the oracle as well. So I, I gain six energy, which will be represented oh. by this sleeve upside down with a dice on it. Delightful. Wonderful. And then for three black, a black and two and four energy, I can put target creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under my control. Tapped. And then we're going to go to the end step. I'm going to keep this blue mana up. And at the end step, I'm going to trigger great and clean one. So everyone's going to take two except for me. And anyone yep, who's yep. lower than me will spawn a plague bearer, which is everybody. That's correct. Three. Everybody, yeah. So one, two, three. They gave you a lot of plague bearer tokens, which is really cool. Uh, I'm done, CGP. Over to you, my friend. All right, let's untap these great cards. Let's draw. For Please turn. tell me you're playing temporal extortion in this CGP. <laughs> what does that do? That is black, 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 black. Uh, you get to take an extra turn unless someone pays half their life to counter it. Nope. I love that card. Sounds fun. Okay. So I have to take one from my mana vault. I'll play Urza Saga and put it on chapter one. What a, what a pathetic magic card. <laughs> oh, come on. It exists for one purpose, and that's to be a soul ring two turns from now. <laughs> or any number of other incredible cards, like mana crypt, or like you need it when you need it. Or... It's so ridiculously good. What a gross line. It really is. The modern horizon stuff is really just busted. Yeah, I, I I was playing. I was doing a video today where I played um, uh, Thopter assemb- no, Thopter assembly, servo assembly. The one mana thing that makes servos, servos yeah. and yep. constructs. Yeah, and yeah. In the yeah. video, I just uh, say I, I keep thinking it's modern horizons because the card's so powerful, but it's not. It's like a commander card. But every card that's broken now, I'm like, oh, is that modern horizons? Because it normally is. <laughs> it's that or Eldrain, but most of the Eldrain ones got yeah. banned out of everything but commander. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out if Alias terrifying if I should keep punching her. This is going to be annoying next turn. Coming. Yeah. Oh, gosh. And There's a so bounty. Many things to kill. It forced my hand to kill the Oracle, because that meant like two Bailoffs a turn, right? Yeah, yeah. true. Alright, Ailey. I don't feel bad. I'm attacking oh. you for three. Like I said, it's always a privilege when I'm the problem, so I will she, take three. She respects the combat stuff. Yeah, things are I coming do. sideways at her. She just it's wants my favorite sideways. step. So that's three commander. I will pay one life. I'll draw a card. All right. Let's cast a ravenous chupacabra. Oh, him. Mm. Chupa thingy. And it's got to be the demon, I think. Which one? You said demon. There's a lot of demons. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My myriad demons. The one of dark schemes. Yeah. Oh, damn. The fire. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Fine. I'm, I'm, I'm. I am going to track my energy, though, just in case it comes up again. 
You you track your energy. I'm done. Mm-hmm. Look at all my forests. They're so pretty. Or not a forest. Whoa, it's like you're playing mono green. <laughs> I know. I am drawing a card. I didn't have anything in hand. I ignored abundance. So let's do some stuff. Get my 10. Versus. 12 is two more than 10. 12? But, well. Well, yeah, if I want to cast both things in my hand. Oh, I thought you meant you were just like casually casting Eldrazi at this point. I was like, oh. No, 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 no. Hard no, no, casting no, no. Eldrazi for fun. Let's do Baloths. Let's be a problem. Five, six. I will cast Rampaging Baloths. They have landfall. Whenever land enters the battlefield under your control, I can create a 4-4. Four, four. Do the bro. tokens have any stats? The tokens will be five fives with Ruxa. So right. I will play my land from my bin. My fetch. I will take a ding. I will find a forest. And I will make that four four. That? Yeah, yeah, two beasts. Yeah. With, and with the oracle, it was going to be four. So I was like, I guess I yeah. have to kill that now. Oh crap! You're right. Yeah, fetch lands are gross. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're completely fair and balanced, and people need to stop suggesting they need completely to be fair and good. balanced. I understand now why people really don't like green in Commander. I love it, but I'm playing it. It's not. It's not that it's bad. It's just that like. It has access to everything. Right? Yeah, I go as far as to say it's quite good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the beasts, just to confirm, because I obviously have a battle off in a while, those beasts do not have trample, is that correct? Just four four green beast creature tokens. But Ooh. with Ruxa out, they can assign damages if they weren't blocked. So oh. I can start smacking people. Okay, that's quite scary. Okay. I think I wanna I wanna nah. I'm just gonna hang back because my life total is getting a little low. So I'm gonna sit back, chill. On the end step, I'm just gonna make a nice little bear friend with Argoth, Sanctum of Nature. It's a 2-2. Two, two. And I'm gonna mill three cards. Activate only as a sorcery. Okay, before my end step. Two. Whoops. Three snakeskin veil, Ramanap excavator, and forest milled. I will make a bear. Alright. I've untapped double jar. I will play a land. I really like the new lands from Brothers War. Just to talk about lands. Oh, the big, oh, the God. big machine lands. I love Oof. them so much. The full arts, especially, yeah. Oof. Yeah, they're yeah, nice. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna hand in of infinite rage. I'll get a shrine token. Ooh. So that triggers for a number of shrines. It does what now? At the beginning of my upkeep, so it's not until my next turn around. Yeah. Uh, I can deal uh, damage to target creature or player equal to the number of shrines I control, which would be three. I will tap another three for Dryad of the Elysian Grove. Dad bod. Dad bod, Dryad. I will play a second land for turn, Tyrite Sanctum. Cool. I'll pass. I untap my army of plague bearers. Here comes the swarm. I draw for turn. What to do, what to do, what to do? Deal with the rampaging Baloth army on the other side. I might just play the Dark Master himself. So we're going to play Belakor, the Dark Master. He's a six mana Grixis Demon Noble because he's a demon prince. He's the first one, actually. He's a 6-5 flyer, and when he enters the battlefield, uh, I draw X cards and lose X life, where X is the number of demons I control, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm going to draw 6 cards and lose 6 life. 3, Eight. 4, wow. five, 6. Great, this at any cost. And then, yeah. his second line of text is that whenever a demon enters the battlefield other than himself, it does mm-hmm. damage to any target equal to its power. Oh, crap. So if you start... Oh, oh good. I'm so glad there's such small demons in magic. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm actually going to play some small demons with any luck. So I'm going to go island. Do I just set up a little bit more? What's oh. going on out here then? What's going on out here? Nothing. I've got a chupacabra. There's so much going on. Covert, go blue. You've got your life totals too high. What? No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Once you've activated Gix, you get to play the cards for free, right? Is that how that works? That is correct. Okay. Oh god, I'm I'm frozen in terror and what do I need to do? So Well don't make the baby mad. I don't wanna make the baby mad, but the baby's mama's got lots of beasts. <laughs> There's so many beasts. Mama bears being a problem. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm gonna play a commander sphere. I'm then gonna move to combat. And I'm gonna attack Covert Go Blue for with just a four five. <laughs> Okay. Actually, no, no, no. Cover up, I'm going to hit you with three one threes. Final no, answer. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> it's, it's just the four five. I'm going to I'm going to try and touch you with my great unclean one. 
your your great unclean one. <laughs> You're not the first guy on the internet to try this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I, 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 I try to touch you with my great unclean one. Please respond. <laughs> That's your only attack. I showed, I showed you my unclean one. Just a 4-5, my friend. Just a 4-5. I'll take the damage. Wait, so you take 4 and I yep. lose a life and draw a card. I am at 20. You do not draw no, a card I, I or lose a life. You hit the wrong guy. Oh no! <laughs> Vince, if you send a demon at me, I will let it through. It's it's too late. I've I've got to respect. It's I, magic. I'll take the four life back. I'm, I'm up for taking these no, 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 okay. just do it in addition. No, 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 no. I'm good. I'm good because I want a lot of blockers. Okay. I can't really block the the bailoffs very well, but other things. Instead. Fair. I'm gonna go to end step. <laughs> I'm gonna trigger the great and clean one. Everyone loses two, and I generate three more plague. No, I don't. I only make two plague bearers. Sorry. And then whenever a demon enters the battlefield, I trigger Balakor's second ability, which is a Lord of Torment. So I've got two separate instances of pings for one. Oh, I really want to hit Kova after you hit me at the very beginning of the game. But is that even correct? Probably uh, not. Olivia's at the highest life total, so I will shoot the shrine dead, and I'll shoot Olivia <laughs> for one. Fair. I was going to say, you've got a real aversion to hospitality. That's just how we greet people around here. <laughs> yeah, well, that's why no one ever goes to Michigan. Uh, and then uh, it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> I will untap. I will draw for turn. Don't forget to get pinged by your mana vault, my friend. Oh, I, I understand. Pew, pew, pew. Ping. And chapter two of Urza Saga. Ooh. Sound like one of the uh, aliens from Toy Story. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that you do. So I was nice, Covert. I, I, didn't, I didn't kill the Chupacabra, which is uh, giving you devotion right now. Thank you. See, I could have been like, no devotion for you. But you know, I, I, I'm, I'm the Dark Master, so I'm quite into all this black manner. In fairness, I haven't done any damage to anybody. You haven't. You're oh, just a oh, humble oh, shrine yeah. keeper. I'm just, tending I'm to your just shrines. minding my shrine. <laughs> Garden shrines. Just like... Yeah. Just trying to make <laughs> things look nice. Hmm. Oh, CGB's <laughs> making big things. That's always scary. Yeah, he's in the tank. I think he might be sweating over how low his life total is, if I'm honest. A little like, bit, yeah. Oh, I had to discard down at end of turn, I think. A blood crypt. And I'll discard two more cards. Sure, we'll mention this in the uh, the intro to the video. But uh, for anyone wondering uh, where Olivia is, this is the day after Thanksgiving, so it's very impressive that she is functioning after a food coma this early in the morning. Oh yeah, I oh, yeah. went and Brian and I went so hard last night. <laughs> <laughs> he made mashed potatoes, I made the gravy. We had like a humongous turkey at my family's place, and it was just constant food. And it was like, I like well, how that's you held it up like a baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, because I, I tur yeah, baby arms for scale of the turkey. It was quite large, <laughs> and uh, yeah, we went for it. I'm the going to play a swamp. Oh, that's a very pretty swamp. I'm done. That was a lot. Of, that was a lot of thinking for that. Did you say you're done? I yeah. don't yeah, trust it. You shouldn't. It's fake. It's fake. Slab into him. Mm hmm. Well, see, you're killing me. Just you know, Slowly. incidentally, Vince, with your silly. Demon pooper. It isn't, it isn't me. It's it's actually the it's Grandpapa Nurgle's plane. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how to kill that. That's the problem. Untap, upkeep. I do not have anything in hand that can be cost for free. That costs seven mana. Boo hoo. Yeah. I will scry instead. I mean, sure. Do I want that on top? Yes. Let's cause more problems. Abundance. I will say non land, and I will reveal. Boop. Titania, Protector of Argoth. When this nice. enters the battlefield, return target land card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Yay! Oh, that's so gross. Oh, that's so gross. I love it. Uh, whenever land is put into the graveyard from the battlefield, I make a 5-3. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Okay, stuff. Thanks. You are on tap two. You are my beastie bros. Okay. I'm going to cast Primeval Bounty. Whenever you cast a creature spell, I make a 3-3. Whenever I cast a non-creature spell, I put three counters on a creature I control. Whenever land enters the battlefield under your control, I gain three life. Nice. All right, you go over here with my other silly enchantments. I haven't played a land yet. Then five for Titania, Protector of Argoth. So she enters our return of land from my graveyard to the battlefield. You get a bounty trigger first though, right? Doesn't do something. The one now? Oh yeah, a uh, bounty... 
that what will then make me a 3-3. Three, three. I don't remember what yeah. it does, but it does something. So on creature cost, I get a 3-3 three, three beast. So much stuff. Which is a 4-4 yes. four, four beast because of the commander. Look how strong this is. Yes. That's when... That can't be blocked, one. basically. Yeah, the second line is the much scarier one. part. That's the cranberry sauce, but the rest of it's the meat. <laughs> if I miss creatures here, I apologize. But now I'm going to get... When a land enters the battlefield, I gain three life. Okay, cool. Yay. All right, so I'm gaining three life, which will be six life, because I'm going to go get a land off of the wooded foothills. This will go in the bin. Titania will then make a 5-3 for me. You'll net gain five, because you lose one from the fetch. Yeah. So yes. net gain five... Make two uh. four fours, a five. Th is that all of this trigger? Was it? Yeah. This is yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> five life. There's that. This also makes a whenever land enters. Yeah, five life. And then there's this guy. Two life thingy triggers is two here. Okay, so two are sleepy. Two are not. I could do that again because I haven't played a land for turn. But this is getting complicated for my little brain. So you cool, guys are though, new. So... It does look cool. You guys are new. You guys can attack. Combat. Pleasant Kenobi. I, would like, I just want to quickly remind you that you get to draw cards when you hit people who aren't me. Yes. I'm going to keep he's back. he's also almost dead. He... Uh, mm. Okay, state you your cases. You look sideways. Black players. I have um, a, the lowest life total. I'm sad and helpless. I can taste the blood in the water. Yep. My same. ire is towards Vince because he keeps dinging me what? and I don't like it. <laughs> it's not you, me, you it's Grandpa me. You're killing me the most. <laughs> Therefore, you cool. must die. No, but here's the thing. It's, it's CGB is actually killing you the most. He just hasn't done it yet because he's playing mono black. And if you're not paying... See, look at these faces. He's scandalized because he knows I'm right. It's, it's either he's got something or he's completely bluffing. I, I'm inclined to the second because both times he's got cocky and like, let's do something interesting. He's like swung for like two damage and nothing <laughs> happened. I'm just saying. Yeah. So, but also I would just kill it. I'm not going to say. I'm not going to say. I'm gonna say. I'll, I'll leave you to do your thing. Because I'm okay, you know biased because I appreciate my you life at all. We'll do it like this. We'll do it like this. Okay. Vince, you're getting one beast and a bear. So 5533 three, and then CGB, you're getting a 5-5 five, five at you. And they're assigning combat damage as if they are not blocked. But if you dump enough stuff in front, you can kill them. Okay, so even if I block and kill them, I still take the damage, which is kind yeah, of... Yeah, you will take the damage, but your creatures will survive. I mean, I guess I'll double block a 5-5 five, five if it means my creatures won't die. Yeah, your creatures will survive. You'll take 5 CGB, and then Ooh. Vince will take 8. Well, I'll block and kill the bear, and then the beast... That's a 5-5... Five, 5-5, five, 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 isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah. it'll only kill two plague bearers. It won't kill any of your things. Oh, of course it won't. It doesn't won't. So deal I'll any combat two, damage. Four, yeah, so you can just five literally stick bearers, things in. There you go. Five plague bearers will like, just like like chase it down and pull it down and gnaw it. There you go. And you know what? I am going to complicate my life and play my land for turn, which will be wooded foothills, a net five again. I'm going to go find the two forests. I'm going to make another elemental, two more beasts. So there's four of them. Definitely lost track of all this so you can just make up numbers if you want to no 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 i'm trying to turn my okay that, that's from costing a creature spell so that's cool and then she makes okay. yeah made that made that yeah all right so i'm gonna go find no, my no. two forests and that's oh, wait me. did you draw your cards for no. hitting kenobi i didn't so let me do that first so i will lose a life and draw it's uh for each creature that hits so i think you attacked him with two so you could lose Ooh, yeah. two life and draw two okay. if you want to sure i'll lose two i'll draw two then I'm gonna go find my forests. I'll shuffle, and then that's Olivia's turn. It's shrine time. It is shrine time. So, infinite rage. So where are you raging? Mm -hmm. Where am I raging? Uh, I did regret killing your one one after I passed turn because I thought you could kill Gix, but I didn't think of that until now. How big is Gix? He's three. Three three. He's a three, three, three. Yeah. The okay. Chupa's a two two. And I have a six five, a four five, and six one threes. I don't have any tutus. You do have the second highest life total, though. You should probably go after me, I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm just gonna dunk you for two in the in the face. But what can I do with two? Not much. All right, I will I will just play a Sanctum of All. So that's a shrine that gets you shrines, yeah? It is a shrine that gets me shrines. On my upkeep, I can go 
shuffle through here and find a shrine, place it on the battlefield. If another shrine I control trigger while I have six or more shrines, it triggers twice. I needed a land and I did not receive it. Pass the turn. Okay. Not swinging into any of this nonsense. I'm going to untap with all my stuff and I'm going to draw for turn. Uh, I've got a fun turn, I think, unless CGB has anything to say about it. I don't play <laughs> counter spells. I mean, yeah, but you've, you've got, you've got. Ah, uh, what a lie! I know. Well, well, I know you don't in that deck. Or at least, what you could do, you, know, about, you could have last hope or whatever it's called. I want to begin by tapping for red and two colorless. I'm going to cast a Herald of Slanesh. It's a two-two for three mana. It's a demon. Weirdly, uh, it says Locus of Slanesh. All demon spells I cost cost two less to cast, and other demons have haste. And it's going to enter the battlefield. I'm going to trigger my second ability of Balakor, which is when I demon is the battlefield, I get to shoot something for two. I'm going to shoot Alias in the face. I deserve this. Because you've got too much life. Yes, okay. this is all good and, and fun, and I'm all about this, unless you decide to hurt me. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to I'm I'm pay two more. Uh, should be four mana, but it's now two because of Heldus and Nesh. I'm going to cast the Sloppity Bile Piper. A what? <laughs> So the Sloppity Bile Piper is a th four mana three three demon that's got the jolly gut pipes. So his bagpipes are made from the previous Bile Piper. It's like a it's like a roll within the army, and when they <laughs> die, they disembowel them, and they get to play the bagpipes made out of the bowels of the previous Bile Piper. For two Go mana, Scotland. You, for two mana, you tap it and you sacrifice a creature. And if I sacrifice a creature this way, the next creature spell I cast this turn has Cascade. Oh, so it's wonderful! It's going to enter the battlefield. It's going to trigger Bellacor's second ability. And it's going to do three damage to Gicks. <laughs> I, oh, I, I, I tried to warn you. Oh dear. Okay. You sure? Well, you I've got, I've got a I can't just like let you pretend you've got stuff. I've got to provoke you at some point. So you got to do something. <laughs> okay. Uh oh, he's tapping things. He may be serious. So Gix is nope. dead. Gix just <laughs> go die die. Anything else? Nope. No? Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm then going to activate the Bile Piper to sacrifice this Plague Bearer of Nurgle to give my next creature Cascade. Mm-hmm. I'm going to play my land for turn. I'm going to tap four mana. I'm going to cast Bloodthirster. Blood for the Blood God? Yeah, Blood for the Blood God, Skulls for the Skull Throne. Mm -hmm. we're, we're doing it. It's six mana, six, six demon that flies and tramples. So it's got flample. Uh -huh. <laughs> the best bits, yet, whenever it deals combat damage to a player, untap it after this combat phase. There's an additional combat phase, but it can't yes. attack a player that's already attacked this turn. That's so cool. That's spicy. But so before that results, you got Cascade. Yeah, yeah, Cascade. Oh, yeah, Cascade. Let's go. Yeah. Nope. Let's go. Uh, I get a sneak attack. Oh, no! <laughs> well, but I'm all out of mana, so it's actually a terrible hit. I want to hit another demon, if I'm honest. Oh, my goodness. And then the Bloodthirster enters the battlefield and triggers Balakor's second ability and deals six damage to... Hmm... Yeah, but if, if, if Covert's got nothing, I think I can just, like, one-shot the table here. But if I don't, oh. if he has got something... Then I need to kill a, a creature instead, if that makes sense. Actually, no, I, no, I can't one-shot a table because it only untaps itself. It doesn't untap the others, unfortunately. Where's your vigilance, man? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to do six damage to Covert Go Blue's face. Oh. <laughs> He's pushing. <laughs> He's pushing me. Uh, well, poke, poke. <laughs> he says arm as he checks his hand again as if it's got something in it. Um, <laughs> it's it's Schrodinger's answer, right? It's in your hand until you look at your hand. And I'm I guess I'm at six. Yep, I'm going to go to combat and I'm going to attack Olivia for six in the... Because you have no flyers, right? Not a one, my friend. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'll put the Bloodthirster into Alias and I'll attack Covert Go Blue with uh, five one threes. See, this is the thing, CGB. We should be dealing with Alias here, but you, you keep rattlesnake, and it makes me feel like I've got to get you. Is this incorrect? I'm gonna. You're so not a very, a... you're not a very trusting person, are you? Make no, a deal. I'm playing, I'm playing a deck that's uh, based off the Ruinous powers, so they all betray each other all the time. So I'm not really. No, you're just, you're just don't trust uh, people with open mana. I get it. The blue mage hurt you, but I'm. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just <laughs> sitting here. Playing mono exactly. black. It's actually very different to that. It's actually when people bluff, I'm like, well, I've got to call it. I've got to. And it's not. You it's have not, to. It's not helpful. It doesn't help. No. Anyone. Look at what you're doing. <laughs> Look at yourself. There's still time to change. Okay. The Bloodthirster is going at Alias. Bye. And then Covert Go Blue. I'm going to attack you with one, two, three, four, five, one threes, and a four, five. 
and a 2-2. Two, two. No, I can't attack you with this 2-2. Two, two. I don't want to do that. I will not attack you with a 2-2. Two, two. So, 5-1-3 wow. is going to 4-5. Hey, go for it, go blue. Any blocks, my friend? <laughs> Is <laughs> anyone else tense? Yes. I'm just, I'm curious. I think he's okay. got one kill spell and he's got to figure out how to use it. Or is it nothing? Yeah, we're going to play Hagra Mauling and destroy your happy I get to attack everyone all the time demon. The Bloodthirster the or the Herald? The Bloodthirster. Yeah. The I think but... attacks multiple times. Yeah. Yeah, so it is dead. It's dead. Okay. Thank cool. you. I'll block a pair of the one threes. Or no, I have to block the four or five. I'll yep. block the four or five with the chupacabra. I'll block a one three with the factory. Factory will pump itself and kill one of them. And then you'll take four? You attack me with five one threes? Five one threes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm at two. Yep. Yeah. And then, oh, sorry, and Bellacor had to go somewhere as well, but he would have gone at, I actually forgot he actually has stats, right? Because he's a creature. So if this changed anything, mm. please tell me, but I'll swing the six. Oh, no, he, I ain't a block. No, block is a useless Just thing. attack me. Just <laughs> kill me. You no, already this, did. The six is going at Olivia. Okay, sure. Six, six in the air. Got it. I'm at 19. Just cool. And then, at end of turn, we're going to trigger the Great and Clean one. And oh that's going to kill. Oh my gosh, he had nothing. <gasps> that's, well, he had one removal spell, but it wasn't enough for the Demon Horde. And then that <laughs> kills Covert Good Blue and I get a Plague Bearer. That puts Olivia yeah. to lower than me. It Does this make you feel better? Um, Rise the Dark Realms? Uh, that was next turn. Oh. Oh. oh, if only you had some <laughs> life points to untap with. I will pass the turn. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Buckley, do you want to come on camera really quick? Where's the puppy? Puppy time. It's oh, kitty. Tiny. Oh, I know. Is that a dog? That's a dog. No, it's a pup. It's a tiny pupper. <laughs> I just saw the ears. I was like, that's a cat. Are we showing off our children? Let me just get one of mine. Oh, wait. This different guy, different child. Guy. Different child. This is uh, an Invicta war suit, but to three times the scale. <laughs> it's got it's got stubbers. It's got uh, yeah. rockets. Okay. This is uh, from Joy Toy. If Joy Toy see this, please send me more. That'd be great. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, this is my, one of my babies. Gix is my baby and you killed it. Oh. I didn't kill, did I kill it? I did yes, kill it, yeah. you I killed sure did. It, everything. Yeah, and, I'm, and I'm proud, CGB. I'm proud. I'm going to smash your little toy. What, all the way from <laughs> Michigan? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Gotta get there first. I have untapped. I'm going to scry with In Search of Greatness. Let's see if I can kill you both here. No! Please do. I'll leave that on top. I'm going to cast Sylvan Anthem. Green creatures I control get plus one, plus one. So, Olivia's got a lot of dudes, as does... Kenobi, how much we got? Three blockers? Yep, which can't stop the combat damage coming through anyway. True. <laughs> Only of these guys, though. Yeah. So I'm going to move to combat. Does anyone want to do a thing before I swing? I only play enchantments. I do not have anything I can do. I okay. only have six energy available. At six present energy. Time. Okay. I'm right. going to respond by reminding Vince how much he attacked me. <laughs> yep. Like I said, if, if you bluff, you know, chat, get hit. Do you know what I mean? So, uh, <laughs> Ailey, if you don't swing at me, I will see what happens next turn and then just die the following turn because I don't think I have anything of consequence. Well, I, 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 I just want to see if I, can, if I can kill you both in one shot because that'll be nice. For me, not for you. Well, it's 35 total damage, so that's yeah. pretty much all you need to worry about there. Yeah, the so 17 unblockable at Olivia, and then 5, 10, 15... 19 at Vince. Not unblockable, but I'm assigning damage as if they oh, weren't. Let's see. What's swinging at me? Three four four beasts, which are five fives, which are six six now. Yeah, I'm overkilling you because I've got Sylvan Anthem out too, so. I am I am very got. Unless you're gonna fog well, everything. In, then. Unless she moves the damage around, but yeah. Because does yeah. she have enough to kill us both unblockable? I believe so, yes. I will declare yeah. three blockers, but it's completely irrelevant. Yeah. Right. And then I kill you all? Yeah. Yep. Green. <laughs> I haven't won in a while. That's nice. You, you, you have a lot. It's like 28 at me and like yeah. 19 at Olivia. It's a yeah. lot. 
Titania is nuts. Now I realize or I know why uh, Shivam loves this card so much. And Baloth is also pretty disgusting. Uh, the commander was the was the crazy yeah. one, I think. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. yeah Ruxa, Ruxa was the problem. Honestly. Not being able to block any of it was wild. Now imagine, Vince, if you had made a deal with CGP, he would have killed the bear. Yep. And y'all would have lived. That was the plan. No, mm -hmm. I got I got a feeling I got I got a, I got a feeling he wasn't doing that. I got a feeling. No, that was, that was the plan. Uh, well, you could have said something before I killed you, but you just you just stayed quiet right up until the last moment, which is kind of strange, actually. I I I, I like I like watching people make their dis like figuring out about people like Why? what what triggers them, and I guess you really distressed open mana. I no, because I, I don't I don't want it to be you got, you got this guy's got time. a three three and a two two and seven mana. Yeah. She has forty power. <laughs> yep. No, and, and if you I, hit I, I, other people, you draw cards, and you yeah, go after me. Yes, because all game you'd remind everyone else to hit other people, and then you had seven mana, and you were like, "Oh, are you sure? You, are you sure you want to do that?" Like, yeah, I want to do that. If, you, if you're gonna do this, I want to do that. I want to. I want to call your bluff. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm fine with this. You we just see it. they just fought amongst themselves and then absolutely. It. I don't think I could have killed Alias anyway. Cause I think I was one damage. Oh no, I would have killed her with a great and clean one, but it would have left you alive, covertly. Kind of I think. Oh, so. we can't have that. No, not when you've <laughs> just. When you've Obviously, just that's the mana. problem. I would have died to my mana vault, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, did, I didn't factor in the mana vault. Actually, maybe there was a world where I could kill you both. I just forgot about the mana vault. Yeah, someone in the comment section can do the math and say like whether yeah. the mana vault actually made it possible. I am victorious. Bow down to my mono green supremacy. Thank you. No. Thank you. Yes. No. I don't like, bow. Let me have one. <laughs> you, can have, you can have the win, but I'm not going to bow. Okay, that's fair. Bears. I like that Ruxa. That's so cool. It's kind yeah, of like that was super sweet. Actually, it was a really cool deck. I, was... I enjoyed that one. That was fun. It sucked. Just <laughs> it, it, it did suck. It was it's certainly something I wouldn't play again, but I enjoyed it doing its thing. Uh, I will say it's, that. I like, mean, it, like you have like how else are you supposed to know what you enjoy playing unless you try all kinds of busted stuff? Yeah, yeah it's all I good. do know. I I dislike fetch lands immensely because I suck at shuffling. So I swear that's like half the stuff I cut out in our episode is just me shuffling because I'm bad at it. So yeah, well, no you know. more fetch lands, I, I think. Maybe one yeah, more, that's, but no, no I more. I was going to say, yeah, you no more fetch lands. I don't believe that. So, but anyway, that was fun. I enjoyed that, yeah, and good. I think I think uh, Vince and CGB just like going after each other. They just ignored me. I'm just like <laughs> cracks knuckles, murders everyone. It was wonderful. So thanks, guys. <laughs> yeah, it was wonderful, wasn't it? Anyway, thanks everybody for watching. It's been another great week here on Elder Dragon Hijinks. For me, yes. <laughs> for <Ailey. laughs> Before you go though, friends, do the following. Please. As for usual, click the things that make the dings. Check out our sponsors. Join our Patreon. Just keep watching the shows. Any of those things is super rad. We love making commander content just for you. So those things allow us to keep doing it. Thanks. <laughs> On that night, my friends. Okay, I... Yeah, we're both real tired. You can tell. We're going to go nap now. Well, maybe. Anyway, kind of. see you next week. Whatever. Bye. <laughs>